So welcome to week number two of the Stitch Along. This is the study of texture and we are going to create a new study this week in order to progress our Afghan road even further. So today's study is picket fences make for great neighbors. So what we're going to be doing now is progressing beyond the town center and now making a picket fence that goes around the town center. What do I mean by that? Well, we're going to be strategizing the rib stitching to make it look like picket fences as we go all the way around in this particular study. Don't forget, let your Bernat yarn pop, play itself out, let the colors come out as is, because when it gets bigger and bigger, you'll see that everything will work out and everything will be A, okay. So without further ado, let's hop on into the studio. Let's get you started on week number two. So let's begin your journey. So this is lesson number two, the study of picket fences make for great neighbors. So what's gonna happen is that we're gonna create a picket fence look. Now the color of Bernat Pop will change at some point and it may have already changed for you like it has with me. So it's gonna create the effect of really doing some amazing texture work. We have a diagram on page number two which we'll evaluate in just a moment but you can see that the instructions are pretty straightforward and if you follow the diagram you'll be good to go. So let's take a look at page number two of lesson number two. So in lesson number two, for those carrying on, you'll see this grayed out area here. That is number five. We've already done that. So we're gonna carry on to number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve. And on the side here, you'll notice that I've written that and I'll be checking that off as I go. We're gonna be starting off and we need to create some layers first in order to layer over top. It's like Mandela work where you have to do some work that doesn't appear to be obvious but then once you start laying over top of the effects, it really looks amazing. What I really want you to pay attention to as we build up, you'll notice that, see this one here? This here is a front post treble going into the single crochet and it's going up in front of this other one that is in there in round number six. So you see it reaches over top and what I want you to pay attention to the most is see where it's going? It's going in the first single crochet here which was in a chain two space that we had on the corners and so if we're looking for those things, look for things that are consistent. You'll notice here chain three and a double crochet standing by itself and then you'll see that over there is a double crochet and there's two of them standing by themselves and if you look for the consistencies, it makes it a lot easier. So without further ado, let's continue on and let's get this done into round number six. So let's begin into round number six. We're gonna chain three which counts as a double crochet and then in the same space right in there, you're going to apply another double crochet. So the corners will be consistent with what you already know. It's gonna be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Carrying forward, Every stitch then going across to the next corner is gonna be one double crochet. And then when you hit the next corner, again, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochet. Pretty simple round for number six. Please do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm getting all the way back to where it started and don't forget I have to go and put two double crochets in the first space where it started and then I'm just going to join with the top of the first chain three with a half double crochet join. So now we're going to begin round number seven. So round number seven has a combination of front post trebles as well as single crochets. Let's begin round number seven. So let's get you started in round number seven. So round number seven we're going to be playing on the top layer plus we're gonna be playing into the single crochet layer down here so two rows below. We're going to begin this uh, layer and we're going to then just chain one and we're going to single crochet only one time in the corner. So that'll be consistent going all the way around except for um, the corners will always be single crochet, chain two, single crochet but we'll finish this corner off when we get there. What I want you to do then is that the next two in a row I want you to place a single crochet. So one and two and now we're about to do a front post treble and what we're going to do then is that we're going to reach down into the very first one right here. Okay, so you're gonna do a front post treble. So wrap the hook and coming straight down in and just come on the side. It's a front post treble around the single crochet. Just come straight down and that that is included to be this stitch that's right in behind. So your next stitch is the next one and that'll be a single crochet. So let's do the next one. So wrap it twice and then skip one single crochet down here and go to the next one over. And you're gonna do that all the way across this row and all of this and all of the sides. So this one here is considered the stitch that I just did so go to the next one for a single crochet. So wrap twice and then skipping 
one single crochet in the row down below and then just go into the next stitch that's available to you. And you're gonna do that until you get to the other side. So I'll meet you there in just a moment and then I'll just make sure that you're finishing off this side properly and then we'll carry on from that point. So as you get all the way to the next one here, the next last one of the front post treble, you see it's the last one before it turns the corner and that'll be a front post treble there. I'm just keeping in the right counts. And so therefore we have two single crochets left on the actual stitch work and then you hit a corner and the corners will always be the same. It'll be single crochet, chain two, single crochet and then you carry on to the next side. So let's just review the next side again. So the next, the first two, because there's nothing underneath there to grab onto, that's why those are single crochets. That's why I designed it that way. And now the next one is a front post treble and you're gonna reach to the first single crochet that you see down there. That's how I designed this one. Isn't that cool? So then just like before, the next stitch that you see is is this one that you just created. So you come to the next one and then you just come back down, just jump over one. I keep dropping my stitches. I was using Bernat. I was doing a stitch along for Joanna the, earlier this morning so I'm not used to the smaller yarn. So therefore you just carry on in the same fashion and then just finish off each of the sides just like you, you, how you see it and then I'll see at the end of this rotation. We'll just uh, recap then and then we'll carry on into round number eight. So I'm coming up to the very final of my rotation and I'm putting two single crochets in the final two stitches there and then in the chain one, in the chain space uh, or the half double crochet join. I'm putting one single crochet and then just joining it with the half double crochet join to the beginning single crochet. So therefore that's what it looks like now. You can see the texture is awesome. So let's move on to round number eight. It's a simple round in order to get this pattern to settle down so we can do more texture work in just a moment. Round number eight we're going to introduce half double crochet. So we're gonna chain up two. Does not count as a stitch. It's a builder so don't count that at all. You're going to half double crochet twice into the same space and then each one of the stitches across are each going to get a half double crochet and then in the next corner that you'll hit it'll be two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochet. So a very simple round for number eight. Just apply your half double crochets and we'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm just finishing up round number eight. It's a half double crochet in each all the way around except for the corners. There's two halves, two chain, two halves. So the final uh, space that we have is gonna apply two half double crochets and you're going to attach it to, with the half double crochet join to the top of the first half double crochet. Remember that there's chain two. Skip right over that. Just go in the top of the first half double crochet and then just do a join with that. And we're gonna move on to number nine and we're gonna be creating some more effects like we did way back in week number one. Let's continue to week number nine. So let's get started on round number nine. We're going to chain two, doesn't count as anything. And in the same space I want you to apply two more double crochets, half double crochets, I apologize. Half doubles there. Now when you're looking below, you're going to see two half double crochets in this chain two. Skip over that chain two, doesn't count as anything. So don't include that as anything. So you wanna do a front post double crochet around the first one here. So don't include that chain two. So just wrap the hook once and come in through the side and just half or double crochet just like that. The next one will be a back post double crochet. So come from behind and then out back. That's a double crochet in the back post. So the next one is a front post double crochet and you're gonna keep alternating these all the way across the, the side here. And what I'll do is that I'll meet you at the other side right here. I'll meet you there. Make sure that you're finishing off the side right and then you'll carry on doing the same instructions going all the way around. So it's just a, a front post double crochet or a back post double crochet and they're alternating back and forth. So I'm continued then to the other, the first corner that we're about to run into. The very last post that you have should be a front post double crochet and you know what, I'm, that's nothing special. I've just been alternating it but that's where you should end up with. Now to turn the next corner, you're going to apply two half double crochets first, then chain two and then two more half double crochets and then you restart all over again. So this time because it's not a starting 
uh, section. It's not a starting round like here. You don't see a chain two that's in your way. So you immediately start on your very first one and just start with the front post double crochet and then the next one is a back post double crochet and you continue this to the next corner. Just finish it off the same way I just showed you here and do this all the way around and I'll see you at the beginning of this round. So I'm coming to the end of round number nine and I'm just maintaining the pattern as I know it and everything is working out. The thing is just to watch for any inconsistencies that you think you're maybe seeing and question it if you do see anything crazy. So the last one was a front post double crochet which I know I'm right and the last is, is two half double crochets in that, that space and you join it then to the top of the first half double crochet that you have with the half double crochet join. Just like that. Let's move on to round number 10. Simple round. We're going to chain one and we're gonna apply one single crochet in the corner and just make sure that you keep an eye. This is a chain two so don't do that one. That doesn't include anything. Go right to your first half double crochet that you have. That's where you're gonna add an extra stitch if you decide to use that chain two. So it's one single crochet in each one of the stitches going across and then in the corners it'll be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Please do that all the way around for round number 10. Nice and simple and I'm about to change colors too which is awesome. As I hit my first corner I just wanna point out remember the chain two that you had when you started this it doesn't exist on any other corner so you immediately go into the first half double crochet. Now what you can think is that well this looks like it is it. No it's right here. It will look like it's buried underneath so you just gotta watch those. Half double crochets have a tendency to hide themselves very well especially on a corner so making sure that you are looking for each of those. So there should be, you see two here so there should have been two on top of it and just to make sure that it's there. Okay, so making sure you capture it. So I'll see you at the end of this round. <laughs> Seriously this time. So I'm just finishing up round number uh, uh, 10 here. We're gonna go to 11 next. 11 is still a single crochet but it's gonna be slightly different on the corners and uh, I did that on purpose to make sure this thing still lays down. Coming into the last half double crochet here uh, or on the outside here. We're gonna go right into a space. We're gonna do single crochet and then just join to the top of the first uh, with the half double crochet join to the top of the first single crochet. Let's go on to round number 11. So 11 the corners are going to be slightly different. You're gonna chain up one and you're going to apply two single crochets first and then you're just doing one single crochet in each going across. So the corners this time around will be two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. So that's the difference between a number 10 and 11. So again the corners are two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet. Please apply that now and I'll see you at the end of this revolution. Okay we're coming around to the end of round number 11. We're gonna head to number 12. Remember that the final space that you have you have to apply two single crochets into that final space. So one and two and just join with the half double crochet join to the first single crochet. So round number 12 is our last round for clue number, let me just do this first, is our last uh, clue for round our week number two of this one. You can see the colors just changed on its own when it felt like it and yours will look maybe completely different. Same stitch work but will look awesome. So round number 12 we're going to provide some more texture and we're gonna lift off this layer that we just did the last um, number 11. How to do that? We're gonna chain up two, doesn't count as anything and in the same space I want you to apply two half double crochets. So the corners of this one will always be two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet, nice and consistent. So what I want you to do is that we're going to apply a back post double crochet around each one of these stitches going all the way across. So let's start with our first one. So just wrap the hook coming from the back and out through the back. This is gonna be nice and tight and this is the way it's supposed to look. So you're just gonna do a half double crochet and you're gonna just stay on the back post for the entire duration of this round except for the corners. You obviously have to apply your two half double crochets first. So just make your way around using the back post double crochets. What I would, if I was to give you a tip when you do back post double crochet make sure you get the entire stitch. It's possible to only grab a portion of it and when you do that it becomes very obvious um, from a distance when you step back from it and sometimes you're working so close that you don't even notice that you've done it. I've done that more times than I'd care to admit but I'm doing a back post 
double crochet around each of those going all the way and it will provide a nice lift that you see that's gonna go on in this. So please do that all the way around and remember in the corners it's two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochets and I'll see you at the end of this revolution and uh, that's it then for clue number two, week number two of your summer stitch long. So I'm coming to the conclusion then of week number two of our summer stitch along. I'm still continuing on the back post for double crochets going across. Remember that the final uh, corner we're gonna have two half double crochets and then join it with the half double crochet join to the top of the first half double crochet. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. So what you're going to notice throughout the remaining of this afghan, most of the parts we're going to be finishing off with the lift just like you see here and this gives it a visual separation between the layers uh, that we're going to be doing. It also gave it a visual break so that you could do something completely new as I was designing this. So it's kind of a neat idea. So I'm coming to my very last stitch here along the edge and then the very final here is that I'm going to apply two half double crochets and then just join it to the top of the first half double crochet. Now remember there's a chain two there so don't include that. Just go right to the half double crochet itself. So don't fasten off and at this point let me zoom out and your uh, blanket square should still be looking pretty flat when you just kinda just push things down and it's looking pretty amazing. So we have now week one and now week two and we're gonna continue then on to week number three. So until next time we'll see you then and have a good one. So that's it for week number two. This is the study of Texture Afghan. We're going to be moving on to week number three next week as we begin. It's going to be the study of Cheap Night at the Movies. Yeah, you've been working for two weeks, you need a break. And so we're going to be discovering what the movies has to offer us and we'll see you in week number three. I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarnspirations.com as well as myself over here at the Crochet Crowd. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.